Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. So they were able to locate Megan Thee Stallion's bodyguard, Quan. Okay, so it appears from what the reports are saying that he won't be allowed to testify. It appears that the judge rejected it. And basically, they're going to go to closing arguments and then basically they're going to render a decision, which in all likelihood, many of us believe that Tory Lanez will be found not guilty. Just too much reasonable doubt, too much uh, circumstantial evidence, um, too much inconsistency with testimony. Now, um, I'm waiting until a decision is rendered. Now, people are asking me to cover the Young Thug case. I'll get to that in a minute because Young Thug's case is probably going to drag on in all likelihood into the next year. That case is far from over, but uh, it ain't looking too good for Young Thug because people are folding like lawn chairs. <laughs> so, but we'll we'll talk about that later on. I'll I'll have a discussion about that later on. But getting back to the Megan Thee Stallion case, um, Quan, I believe, who is the name of her bodyguard, basically, he's not going to be allowed to testify. The prosecution asked for a one week extension. Tory Lane's team objected to it, which they should have. And it appears that the judge said, "You know what?" We're going to go to close the arguments. We're going to get a decision made. So basically, this whole thing about what was going to come out of Quan's mouth doesn't even matter now. And I wouldn't be surprised, based off the fact that it was difficult to find him, that Quan knows something. He didn't want to testify. He didn't want to be involved in this. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I'll talk about this later on. But... Like I said before, my own personal opinion, it, it would be an injustice for that jury to convict Tory Lanez. It would be bogus. And I know that a lot of the black man haters club members are hoping that Tory Lanez get convicted just so they could say he, you know, he got convicted. But at the end of the day. The only decision they should render is not guilty on all the charges. Now, I wouldn't be surprised by tomorrow or wouldn't be surprised right about now. They're negotiating, saying, OK, but well, we'll drop all the other charges and we'll just get you to take a uh, plea deal of just uh, firing a weapon. And we'll just offer you probation. And if I'm Tory Lanez, no. I'm not taking it because it's clearly that he's winning this case. His team is winning this case. But like I said before, um, now the aftermath of all this, that's <laughs> that's where it's really going to get interesting. So we'll discuss all that later. But this is the latest update. Anyway, this is your boy Town Biz. I'm out.